Unicorn news, what's cooler than that? Larry Connors on CNN and Beer Nuts. You'll get that joke in a second. That and more today in The Sift. Welcome to The Sift. I'm Gabrielle Biondo with the best of what St. Louis is talking about. As if Make-A-Wish isn't amazing enough, combine it with a unicorn and it's out of this world. Yep, Make-A-Wish made it possible for Bonterre first grader Summer Warren to ride a unicorn. The Daily Journal reports she's been undergoing treatment for an inoperable tumor around her brain stem. And when asked about making a dream come true, her dream was to ride a unicorn over the rainbow with her mother. Now, at first, Make-A-Wish wasn't sure how to handle that request, but they figured it out. Figure this out. For decades, he was a K-Movie news anchor. Now he's a John Beale Roofing Company spokesman. But Larry Connor says he should be CNN's newest anchor, replacing exiting Piers Morgan. Take a look. According to Connor's Facebook page, he says, I should replace Piers Morgan on CNN or someone like me should replace him. He wrote an open letter to the president of CNN about his proposal and posted it on Facebook. There's a link below so you can read the letter in full. Now he slams Morgan, calls him a foreigner, points out his own strengths and weaknesses, and so on. Honestly, I don't really think it's something you would sincerely send a potential employer, but whatever. Not everyone agrees like this woman. Connors has numerous comments also supporting the idea, saying he'd be a great fit and he would boost CNN's ratings. But then there are these saying they'd change the channel. Whatever the intentions here, it's entertaining. So, in other nutty news, St. Louis doesn't like nuts. ShareCare, a health and wellness engagement platform co-founded by Dr. Mehmet Oz, reports St. Louis is one of 10 cities where people eat the fewest nuts. You can check out some of our not-so-nutty counterparts. On the other hand, though, take a look at a list of the top 10 nut-loving cities with San Francisco, Denver, and San Diego coming in as the top three. Okay, we might not enjoy nuts, but St. Louis loves beer. We love it so much, KSDK reports Urban Chestnut Brewing Company just opened its second location on Manchester Road in the Grove. The brewery's first location is in Midtown on Washington Avenue, and Schlafly fans, the Maplewood location is open again after a one-week closure for remodeling. The Riverfront Times also has some cool photos of that process. So much beer news! Check out the links below for more on all of these stories. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and YouTube. We would love to connect with you there. And we leave you with our St. Louis Meta Moment. This tweet, after news that the Taste of St. Louis and the St. Louis Blues Week festivals moved to Chesterfield.